Don't get too weird on me. But this is the life of an eighth grader.
this is like a hard to me. Alright. I made this album called Black Material. I don't know if you guys heard of it. He must have illegally downloaded it. That's my shit. It's just said. Someone said that? I love it. Yeah. Uh, okay. So if you're a fan fancy nut like me, then of course you know the name of the group of insurgents who had to blow up a bunch of reactors in order to make a, make a change. Who were they, they called? Good. Nobody said Al Qaeda. I mean, they died last year. Yeah, that's, that's a terribly old dated joke. Alright. Nobody even mentions Al Qaeda anymore. Like, are they like around still? Hey, why are you looking at me? Yeah. Hey, man. Racist. Huh. That's racist. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, anyway, so the group is called Avalanche. And so I made a song about them. Now, when I started playing Final Fantasy VII, when I saw the guy Barry, I was like, this big, badass dude. I was like, this is so awesome. So, I was like, what if he had a rap theme song? <laughs> and this is what came of that. Now, we're going to do a program song here.
Come <laughs> on. 
That's the second that's my shit I've heard. That's a mark of a good show. Nice. All right. This is where the, the big rank story gets interesting. All right. As I told you, mild mannered teacher who was just doing teacher stuff. And um, <laughs> this is the true story of Megan Rank. So don't believe anything you've seen on Wikipedia or any of those crazy websites out there. This is the story, all right? Megan Rand was known as Random. And Random was a rapper. <laughs> he was not only a good rapper, he was a great rapper. He was so great that he began to dominate the field of rap music. I mean, you name it, just domination. And, and then, when it became time for him to win awards, the Grammys called him and he ran away with like, I don't like that. I don't want that. Got to fight the MTV all of us. I don't want that. He was like Ryu at the end of Street Fighter. He just walked away. He wasn't even at the, the ceremony. He said, I don't need that. So this guy became so great that rap was no longer a challenge for him. So he sat it down and stopped doing it. He started playing video games again. And when he played video games, he started at the beginning. He did a lot of retro stuff. And playing retro stuff, he came across a game called Mega Man. <laughs> Gameplay was dope, nice, bright, colorful game, and awesome music. So, he was inspired again. He's like, I know what I can do. I will create video game rap music. And rap, we're using the soundtrack of Manny Man. And he did it. And of course, did it go well? Of course it went well. He dominated the field of video game rap, which didn't even exist at that time. <laughs> Later known as third quarter. And then, he got a phone call, and it was Capcom on the line. <laughs> Zoinks. Uh, uh, uh. And Mr. Capcom said, I believe that was his name, Hey, guy! We heard that you are sampling and using our copyrighted material without permission. Isn't that interesting? And I was like, <laughs> well, what had happened was, and they were like, don't even, don't even explain. Don't even explain. We got some news for you. I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> Here's the news. We love it. <laughs> we love it. So, long story short, random gets licensed by Capcom. The birth of Mega Man. Next thing you know, he woke up. It was a <laughs> and when he woke up, it was time to do a show. And it looked a lot like this. And there were some beautiful people here, just like you guys. And he came to the show, and Kate Murdoch was there. And Brandon walked out, and he said, Mac Fest, what's up? <laughs> and then I said, Kate Murdoch, play my track. And then he played this. So we all sang along, it was so weird. I said, we all sang, it was crazy. It was like, yes, it's down, yeah! It's in the holy water! It's in the midnight train, go anywhere! It's just, just, yes!
So, if you guys want to dance, let's go. This is the result of Saturday, go to the 